Oh, I feel ecstatic. I feel like I'm a child playing in a playground, like weightless, effortless, and it just brings great joy to my heart. My signature move is a passe iron flag, which is a kind of a spin-off of the Iron X, and it requires a lot of core, and it requires um, requires a lot of a lot of discipline to be able to do it because your body basically is perpendicular to the ground. My mother had osteoporosis very seriously and both of my sisters who are both younger had a test that said that they had the beginning so I figured okay I think I'm in pretty decent shape but I am not loading my bones and they're not mineralizing. So I have to do something to build my bones. So I looked on the internet and that is when I found Paul. I fell in love with it because it gave me such joy and it was a way of expressing myself and being creative. The stage is a platform for me to tell an empowering story and all of my stories that I share, the choreography is around transformation, like a phoenix rising out of the ashes or a chrysalis becoming a butterfly. And that's really what we're all going through as a, as not just as a nation, but as a planet right now. where I practice. Um, I use these two poles. They are competition poles, competition floor. Pole does require a lot of, of core and upper body strength. I would say that the pole itself is really all I do. The only time that I do weights is if I'm traveling and there there's no pull, there's no place to street pull. <laughs> you develop flexibility and you develop strength. In gymnastics, competing on hard floors before the spring floors basically destroyed the cartilage in my hip and it started going downhill at about 61. And two years ago, I had both of them replaced. So I was fortunate enough to still win world championships with my hips going downhill because most of it is upper body and I wasn't required to be able to walk. Sometimes I had to take a cane or a wheelchair um, at the airport, you know, be before getting on the plane and go into a championship and nobody would have known that that I was, was injured so seriously because the pole kind of accommodated uh, my injuries. I would like people to watch this video and realize that if I could do it at my age of 70, that they could do it and to, f to find their passion to find what, what makes their soul sing. Pole's not for everybody. Some people have written me emails and said, because if you, I'm now I'm walking five miles a day or I'm back to doing yoga. And they have found their path. And I tell everybody, reach inside yourself. There is a gift that you have within yourself that if you find it and you develop it, there's nothing greater than finding that gift and sharing it with the world.